Hi, it's Rick and Patty from the KORD Morning Show. Thanks for listening. We really appreciate it. And, of course, you can always catch us anywhere and everywhere with our KORD mobile app. It's free for you in the App Store as well in Google Play. Hey, let's be entertaining. But we are entertaining. There's a line between entertaining and annoying. So entertaining. I'm entertained already. Allow me to make things entertaining. And that starts now. I was going to say annoying. start now? I was going to say it starts now, but I was saying annoying. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I noticed some people, I noticed some people that I, a disc jockey, I'm sure, is annoying. Especially, like, if you go into a library. <laughs> you uh, think? There, I've been in situations where, you know, you're an animated disc jockey. And you can tell the people around you, let's say you're doing a live broadcast. And they're like, what's this person like? Who is this person? Why are they doing this? Anyway, so we try not to be that way, Patty. 612, good morning. Welcome to it. You got Ricky, got Patty. Uh, 55 degrees. Shout out to my guys at Boyd's uh, Tree. They came out yesterday, did some work for us. And it was so funny. He goes, I was listening to your show. And and I go, go, and he said the wrong radio station. And I went, "Uh (laughs) uh-oh. And then he goes, well, you were talking about losing your job to, you know, what, this guy. I, oh, I said, yeah, Mike McKay. That, we were ta- oh, was, that was us. That yeah. was, and I said, well, that was us. He just happened to have the wrong station. Oh, but yeah. he, he goes, I, I, cause I heard you. Like, okay. It's easy to do. It is easy to do. And we and anyway, we wanted a little shout out to Boyd's Tree this morning. Did a great job. All right. We're going to get the day started. We're going to work on some Facebook fun. Can we? Other people's problems on the way. And another edition of Nashville News. And I know you got tickets for the Walla Walla Music Fest. We do. We have a whole stack of them. And we'll give those away. Get those started. That's coming up here in just a couple, uh, couple uh, gosh, a couple days away from that. So yeah. get you a chance to win that. Plus Tim McGraw in Los Angeles. That's amazing. So I, lo- I went to it in Seattle, yeah, guys. You loved but it. In, yeah, I'll go again. Well, we got a lot to get to, so that's coming up at 820. All that and more. Grab a cup of coffee. Dig in. Let's get your day started. You got Rick and Patty. K-O-R-D. The Cord Morning Show with Rick and Patty. Back with more next on number one for new country, 1027 KORD. Get ready, Tri-Cities. Pet Overpopulation Prevention's annual Pooch and Pal event is back and better than ever. Mark your calendars for June 15th at Columbia Point Park. Lace up your sneakers and lease up your furry friends for a fun-filled 5K walk or run. Early registration is happening now. Sign up today and snag yourself a cool t-shirt, swag bag, and exclusive access to the post-fun run party. But wait, there's more. Pop is also seeking vendors and sponsors to join in the excitement. Visit poptricities.org to register. That's P-O-P-P, TriCities.org. Sign up and get involved. Sun's out, tongue's out, folks. Let's make this year's Poochin' Pal the best one yet. See you there. We're on you, number one for New Country, 1027 KORD, Rick and Patty. A very unusual coupling in uh, Nate Smith and Avril Lavigne. I mean, they're still going strong. I saw some photos. Um, anyway. Think if they met, or if they did music together. I know. If they collaborated. Uh, what, wouldn't that be a great yeah, duet? Yeah, I, I think th- so. A, a Nate Smith and Avril Lavigne duet would be awesome. 624, you got Rick, you got Patty. Good morning, 54 degrees for you. All right, Facebook fun to get your day started. Do you have an unusual item that brings you luck? Unusual item that brings you luck there, Patty. So I have um a, a, like a pair of wings. It's a um, just a, a little trinket that somebody gave me when I did my first um, skydiving jump. Oh, very cool. Yeah, and I've carried that with me. In my car. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. It's supposed to protect me. Yeah, I, I think that's that's pretty cool. Um, the few things that I thought brought me luck, I've now lost. <laughs> so I don't know if it brought Did me luck. Did you have a rabbit's foot ever? So, no, I never had a rabbit's foot. I had a jacket uh, when I was 18, 19. A lucky jacket? I loved my jacket. Uh-huh. I loved this jacket. Okay. And it had 60 bucks in it, and I lost it. I'll never know. I don't know. I don't know where it. I don't know where it went, but I lost it. And at the time I lost it, it had like sixty bucks in the the pocket. That isn't very lucky, bro. Uh, yeah, when I was ma- when, I, when I, yeah when I was making six hundred bucks a month, it was not a good thing to be losing. But I lost it. And then I used to call it my first date shirt. I had this kind of this shirt that was kind of velvety, and I love this gray shirt. And Is I it like velour. Yeah, yeah, velour. Okay. It, was, it was really yeah. it just it was just a great. It fit perfect. I loved the shirt, and I called it my first date what shirt. What color was uh, it? It was gray. And it was my job interview shirt. It was my date shirt. It was the I, everything. It was the everything shirt. And I don't know. I don't know if Megan threw it out. I don't know whatever happened. I bet to the, she did. I bet she did too. Get rid of that. Because I told her, oh, this is my this is my good luck shirt. And well, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> so never had a rabbit's foot. Never had. I, I don't. You know. But I like the I like the wings idea that you just said. Yeah, I had. Yeah, somebody gave me a pair of wings, and That's I was cool. like, oh, thank you. And they're like, like good this. luck. Like, and I'm thinking, oh, what, what what can go wrong? I like the symbolism in that. I think that it was nice. Cool. Yeah. yeah, I think that's really cool. So there you go. That'll be the Facebook fun chime in. Do you have an unusual item that brings you luck? And if you had a rabbit's foot, because you always see this. Yeah. 
But do you really believe? I mean, I don't. I've never seen anybody whip one out. I mean, you see them in movies yeah. and all that, yeah. but, but I've never seen anybody whip out a rabbit's well, foot. Well, some people have like stones. There are stones that are supposed to, you know, oh. give you yeah. good juju oh, and yeah. all that. Oh, some absolutely. people have those. All right, so there you go. We'll have some fun with it. Do you have an unusual item that brings you luck? We're going to share some of your comments coming up in phone calls as well. That's our question of the morning, our Facebook fun. You got Rick and Patty, K O R D. You're listening to Rick and Patty in the morning on number one for New Country, 1027 KORD. 1027 KORD, 54 degrees for you. You got Rick, you got Patty. This Graceland situation's got me wondering what's going on in yep. Nashville News. Okay, Elvis Presley's granddaughter is doing everything in her power to stop the sale of his Graceland mansion in Memphis. The King's Estate, I didn't know this, but was supposed to hit the auction block on Thursday. However, attorneys representing Raleigh Keough say that a temporary restraining order has been issued to stop that. And Riley inherited the Memphis home after her mother, Lisa Marie Presley, died last year. And so now an investment in lending company claims that Lisa Marie used Graceland as collateral and defaulted apparently on a loan. But Riley Keough is claiming that that's a lie. It's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out. Martina McBride tapped to Judge Magnolia Networks. It's a new talent competition, Rick, and it's called Second Chance Stage. It will showcase talents that range from dancing and singing to even stand-up comedy. It's an eight-episode competition that was uh, filmed in Kansas City. The premiere date hasn't been revealed yet, but the show is expected to launch this fall. We are going to be seeing Martina at Walla Walla's Fair and Frontier Days. She'll be performing on Wednesday, August 28th. Katy Perry tells E! Entertainment Network that she hopes that Jelly Roll will replace her as a judge yeah, on American Idol. Interesting. She says Jelly Roll was crazy when he came on the show. She was convinced that uh, she says that anything he said, he could run for president. He could be my pastor. I might go back to church just for Jelly Roll. He could sell me anything. But she says to have any of these guys plus Jelly Roll on the show would be amazing. We'll keep you posted on that. And last but not least, Everything Nash says that Lainey Wilson is going to be opening her new Nashville bar. It's Bell Bottoms Up, May 31st. Apparently, she has a concert in Nashville on June 1st. Meanwhile, Life and Style Weekly says that Lainey was invited to join the Grand Ole Opry during the finale of The Voice. And did you know that Lainey previously tried out for both The Voice and American Idol? Didn't make it. That's crazy. Yes, she got rejected (laughs) on both those shows. It's crazy. Who knew? Those are your trending headlines. We love to hear from you, and it's easier than ever to reach out. Just open up the Cord Mobile app and send us an app chat message. Or you can contact us the old-fashioned way at 509-547-KORD. Number one for new country, 1027 KORD. Have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto? Make sure you have our app so when you connect your device, we can go everywhere together. Happy Wednesday, middle of the week for you. So we posted this yesterday right there on the KORD mobile app. It's a, it's a lot of fun. So the top uh, baby names for 2024 are basically two O names. So you've got uh, Olivia and Oliver is the new I one. knew it. There's two, uh, there's two O's. Now, the cool thing is what we did, we have a little drop-down menu where you could look at any, uh, from 1960 to 2023, you could take a look at the top baby names. So if you go back to 1960, it's like Michael, you know? Yeah. It's fascinating. Or um, if you go to, uh, let's see, the, the 80s, Jennifer. Oh, You know, okay. Jennifer, remember Family yep. Ties, and there's a cool yep. girl's name, Jennifer. Anyway, <laughs> so you can do a little drop-down menu and uh, see where your name's at. Now, um, again, as I've talked a lot uh, on the show, Rick isn't my real name. It's part of my middle name, right? So my real name, like, I don't even show up. I have n- I have never shown up. I'm, oh, really? I'm a, I went back to the 1900s. Oh, one time looking at na- popular uh-huh. names, yeah. and I might have shown up in the 1900s. Oh wow! Now, now Patty, Patricia, that it does that show up a lot? Do you I, see that? I don't know. I haven't looked. You should go look, I don't know. You should go look at the, the drop down menu and see if Patricia's in there or Patty. I will. Because just because has anybody ever come up to you and said, "Oh, your name's unique," so, you know? No. Or, no. No. One's ever, no, <laughs> no. No. I was uh, at the optometrist right there at Columbia Center at um, Lens Crafters and the gal who was taking my information she yeah. goes oh because you have a very unique first name it is and and I said yeah it's my great grandfather's and she's oh you know uh, she goes I thought you were named after the poet the literally poet I said no oh. not named after the poet but it is after my great grandfather and then I made the joke about the fact that we've and we've talked about this L's and V's are in my in my how my oh that's okay my mom was all about my my 
grandparents were all about L's and V's. All their kids have L's and V's. I just, I go Louis Vuitton. <laughs> <laughs> but you have like that's Lisa my and yeah. That's my name. You just said my name. That's my real name. Louis Vuitton, people. There you go. So anyway, you can do this little drop down menu. But I'll have all to of, see where Patricia of, is. I know you should go see. And it's fascinating when you go to the different decades. Oh yeah. Yeah. And there in some of the and some old, names you're like, what? But some of the old names are making a comeback. I like that. Yeah. We were talking about my my great foster mom, Pearl. That name is making, Pearl is making a comeback. And my neighbor's dog's name is Pearl. Well, it's a great. Pearl is awesome. It is. It's it, it's a it's a jewel. It's a gem. So I get it. So yeah, you can do a little drop down. I mean, it's kind of cool there. So go, to, uh, I want to see where, I want to see where Patty Joe's at, Patricia's Let's at. Let's look there. it up. I'm sure it's in the top. It has to be in the top 100. I don't know. Uh, my son Logan is in the, is in the, starting in the 90s, he's in the top 100 easily. He <laughs> fluctuates. Yeah. He fluctuates, but he's in the top hundred, so um, I couldn't. Uh, Kyron is my stepson. Ah, that's that, a that's now that's a unique. That's name. That's a unique name. He doesn't he doesn't show there now. Megan, I'm sure my wife. I'm sure she shows up a quad, and I'm sure Jeff shows up. Jeffrey or Jeffrey, Jeff. Sir gonna, Jeffrey. So we're gonna go have fun with this. We'll get back with you on it. You can go check it out now. It's posted right now. The two O's, Oliver, Olivia. I know, crazy. A boy Popular and a girl. names. Boy and a girl. There you go. Check it out now on your KORD mobile app. You're waking up with the Cord Morning Show, number one for new country, 1027 KORD. Broke my heart, number one for new country, 1027 KORD. And if you enjoyed that, Luke Combs fly away to Phoenix, Arizona. We got Tim McGraw coming to LA, and we're going to send you off there, Patty. I'd love to go. Uh, okay, well, love, I would love it. Well, coming up at 820, you'll get your first code. You can change your name, I guess, and try to get in on that. But we'll I'll find get in on it. We'll find you, Patty. <laughs> like, hmm. But yeah, you know. I saw him in Seattle. So in <laughs> LA, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be even bigger. Oh man, it's going to be awesome. So uh, make sure you download the KYD mobile app and that great flyaway to Tim McGraw coming up. All right, Grams in Pasco has got a situation. What's going on with Grams? Rick and Patty, my family is upset with me because of the gifts I gave my grandchildren for graduating and completing another school year. Each year, I give all of my grandchildren a card. With the same amount of money. Well, this year I changed it up a little. I gave different amounts of money to the kids. Some made more than others based on their grades and accomplishments. My two sons and my daughter went ballistic on me. They said my gifts created havoc in their households among their children. Some were upset because their brothers or sisters got more cash than they did. I told my kids that those who did better were rewarded with more money. They said that was a terrible idea, that kids don't understand that. I told them that this is a perfect teaching moment, and they should tell their kids the better they do, the more money they can make. They said I made a mistake by giving the kids different amounts. Did I? Some of the kids think I love their brothers and sisters more because I gave them more money. All right. Grams and pass. So inter- interesting. I like I, I, the, the word I saw here, um, kids don't understand. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell my Pearl story. Uh, many years ago, because we lived at Bogan's Oasis, and we had the cans, the aluminum cans, right? Pearl um, used to let me smash the cans. We'd take them into town, and I'd get the money, right? Well, one time, you know, I'm seven, eight years old, whatever. I refused to do the cans. I'm like, I'm not going to smash them. So she goes, well, I'm going to go out there and smash the cans. She went and smashed them. She took them to town. She came back from town with the money, right? I put out my grubby little hand going, Where's my money? Where's my money? And she looked at me and she goes, "You didn't work for this. I told you." <laughs> she goes, "It's my money." She did. And you and you so Rick, per, figure it out. Guess what? Mm, she did didn't you figure it out real quick. There you go. <laughs> kids don't I mean, kids don't understand. No. Absolutely <laughs> kids understand. Now, I used to be one of those people that was like, "You get good grades because that's what you're supposed to do." But then I thought about our entire society is made up on you work, you earn, blank, right? I go to work to put, you know, food on the table, da 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 da. So it's like maybe in the same situation as grades, it's like if you are going to be that family that pays out grades, all right, well, 5 bucks for an A, you know, 2 bucks for a B, whatever it is, make that known at the get-go cuz kids can understand that. I never got paid for grades. Right. I wish I did. Because a lot of parents, my friends did. Because your parents said, "Hey, that's what you're supposed to be well, doing." Yes. No, no, I understand why they yes. said it. I I totally get you it. You just you you just do. You do it you do it because, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. Now, looking in hindsight, part of me goes, "You know, it's like this is a society that's like, you know, you you do you get basically." I might have gotten A pluses if there was a uh, so, you know, so, so, so monetary you, value. So you got your two brothers and you got you and grandma decided to give you each different levels of cash, you know. My your older, old, well, both brothers. Old, older the, brother the, the, middle, the middle brother was rich. Yeah. 
<laughs> right. Yeah. The older brother was, was the bu- was, just, was the yeah. bum, right? He was the bum, so he, yeah. <laughs> so he'd have a couple bucks in. Yeah. <laughs> a middle brother would have a ton, and you, you you'd have okay, I'd right? Be, I'd be all right. Yeah. So what would you do? Do you think this is right? Do you think this is fair? I, you know, I do think it's a it's it's a teaching moment for those for oh. those children for those parents, but I don't know. Do you equate? I, and this is going to be horrible. I don't equate love with with money. Does no, that mean? But I do but not. people do. Oh, you know, Grandma gave you a hundred dollars and gave me seventy five dollars. She loves you. You know. Well, I would have sat him down. I think I would have done this. Hey guys, this year Grandma's going to do something different. If you guys get good grades, I'm going to pay out X amount. If you don't do great, yeah, I'm I don't like, think Grandma loves you any more or less. No, of course based she doesn't. The, of course you know, not. How much money she gave you? But was it a terrible idea to you know crack open those envelopes and go, hey, I, I'm shorted 25 bucks. What? I, you know what? <laughs> I don't know. I remember my grandma. I got a gumball, and my that, brother got new. Right. You know, got some new yeah. kicks, and I yeah. was like, what? I was happy with the gumball. But, but even here at work, we have goals, we have quotas. You know what I'm saying? And everybody's getting a different piece of the pie, right? I mean, so are you ever... As a, as I'm going to call you out. No, Rick's the overachiever. You no, know, I'm just saying, but as a worker, do you look at the other guy and go, oh, man, I really wish... I don't ever look at the other worker and go, I wish I had his. I don't ever think like that, but other people do. I go, oh, I, I wish I had, you know, whatever. I've never been that way. So, yeah, what do you do? I, I don't know. Okay, Grandma, we're going to try to solve this for you, Grams. Uh, 547 KORD. Was it a bad idea? I think she should have well, said I don't know, because then you start comparing yourself to others. And are you going to compare yourself to your brothers? And si- I mean, I'm going to walk away really? with the most cash. Well, that's you. <laughs> Again, the overachiever. Grandma, you. Rick. Gra- Grandma, set the parameters. Grandma, you tell me what you need, Grandma. Rick's got all the love. I, I will deliver that. And then I will be walking around. And yeah. Flash my wad of cash in front of my bros and says, hey, look at my wad of... Well, I, <laughs> With your crown, um, it's King Rick. Sadly, sadly, <laughs> as we talk about this, of my siblings, I am the one that is the most, sadly, the most well-off. You know what I'm saying? But I but I, but I, but I, tell them, hey, I get up at 4 a.m. and I go to work every day. Meanwhile, you guys are doing whatever you're doing. Rick. No, I'm just saying. Rick. So, Grandma might be right. Okay, 547-KORD. <laughs> App chat us what you do in this situation. Oh we want to know. It's Rick and Patty. K-O-R-D. Starting your day the right way with the Cord Morning Show. Number one for new country. 1027 KORD. 1027 KORD 724. You got Ricky, got Patty. Good morning. 55 degrees sunshine for you, Tri Cities. So we're getting super excited. This is happening June 1st, the Walla Walla Crash Fest. The Demo Derby. That Demo Derby. Hot Rod Motorcycle Show. Yeah, it's going to be... Hot Rod. You're going you're to be on the edge of your seat. It's Walla Walla Fest weekend, Music Fest weekend, happening there, center stage, Saturday, June 1st. Heat races, uh, trophy dash, small car demo, large car demo, adrenaline pumping day. <laughs> we love it, don't we, Patty? We do. It's the Demolition be, Derby. Bring it on. I uh, know. We got So we got tickets, and uh, what do you got over on your side of the room over there? Well, I, I, I got a stack. What do you want to do? You want to give away some tickets right now? You want to take a couple callers? For here. Crash Fest? Yeah. Demolition Derby? All right. You want to go? about it. All right. Walla Walla Crash Fest. It's June 1st, 547 KORD. Take caller number blank and blank. Five and six. Five and Let's six. Let's go. All right. Callers number five and six. Crash Fest, Walla Walla, Demolition Derby. You want to go? We'll take callers five and six. Five and six. You win next. 1027 KORD. Good luck. Starting your day the right way with the Cord Morning Show, number one for new country, 1027 KORD. Hey, this is Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw's Standing Room Only Tour hits the fabulous Forum in L.A. this June, and we want you to be there. Get the contest codes at 820, 1020, 120, 420, and 720, and enter them on our app. Thank you all so much. We had a great time this evening. I hope you enjoyed it. Grand prize winner gets show tickets for them and a guest, airfare, hotel, and $500 cash. Get contest rules and more info on our app. Brought to you by Big Machine Records, number one for new country. 1027 KORD. All right. We already posted this up on Facebook, but we're going to toss it out to you this morning. And that is, do you have an unusual item that brings you luck? So this guy named Tim- Timothy claims, What's he got? claims the penny he recently found in a parking oh. lot led him to winning a, a $10,000 a month lottery. He used the penny to scratch off his winning ticket. Tim will receive ten grand every month for the next ten years. And this oh, is in, that's a lucky the, penny. You know, you know Virginia. the thing about you know, find a penny, you pick it up, and yeah. all day you'll have good luck. 
Yeah, I never pick up a penny. That's a good point. What? Well, so so Patty I do all the time. I know. I totally yeah. So believe Patty it. plays the lottery and she picks up the pennies. So you should be having great, fabulous luck. I'm just saying, <laughs> you should be. I'm one of those people like I walk by a penny and I don't play the lottery. Just, so, yeah, because I don't believe. I don't believe. You're not going to win if you, you don't believe. play. Well, you know, I've you won. A, I've won a dollar here I know. and there. Absolutely. I do remember one time though. I was in Vegas. And they, there was a big cash machine, a cash cube, yeah. and they called they called your name out, you know. And uh, I remember being on this uh, the bus. We were on the strip, and I go, Jeff, we got to get back to you know the casino. <laughs> They're gonna call my name, and they did. Oh my gosh! They and did. I, I yeah, and I grabbed like seventy five bucks or but whatever. You still it was. felt it. You felt. Oh, it. I felt lucky. You just like it, I go. That, oh, I won. My name was called. You're like my name's gonna get called on this particular thing. I knew right? it was. So um, unusual item that brings you luck. I once had a lucky jacket. I once had a lucky first date shirt. I think Megan threw out the first date shirt. I know. I don't know whatever. Well, you don't to need it. to go on any more first I, dates. I, obviously so, not. Obviously Blame her for that. Obviously, uh, obviously not. So do you have an unusual item that brings you luck? We'll take some calls. 547-KORD. What is your good luck piece? Is it, and we've been talking about this, is it the rabbit foot? Because you see it in movies, rabbit foot, my lucky... So, well, some people have lucky underwear uh, or a some lucky headband or something. Yeah. Dog tags. Fr- a sure. friend of a friend has dog tags, uh-huh. different things like that. So, all right, we'll take some calls, have some fun with you. 547-KORD. What is your lucky charm? We want to know. The Cord Morning Show with Rick and Patty. Back with more next on number one for New Country, 1027 KORD. Nine, number one for New Country, it's 1027 KORD. Sunshine for you right now, Tri-Cities. You got Rick, you got Patty, 55 degrees. Windy, breezy. Expect that. Some rain showers later this afternoon. Yesterday's little Yesterday, storm. Yesterday, <laughs> I did not like. Uh, poor that Boyd, was some steady rain. Poor Boyd's tree was out there uh, trimming some bushes for In us. In the said, rain. Oh, it was pouring. I felt bad for those guys. There was three of them out there working, and I was like, well, better you than me, I guess. But and I was out there, you know, being the foreman. My dogs were going crazy because they just wanted to run in the rain. Yeah. So they were all soaked. But, uh, yeah, yesterday was quite quite, quite the weather <laughs> weather we had yesterday. I know. All right, 547-KORD, do you have an unusual item that brings you luck? Somebody's, what is it? Somebody's got to have that lucky rabbits foot we keep talking about. And uh, good morning, KORD. What brings you luck? Um, My boyfriend has a pair of good luck underwear boxer oh, shorts. And I've tried to get him to throw them away like a million times. Right. But he tells me that they're his good luck charm and when he needs some good luck, he just wears them. All right, the boxers. I've heard that before, you know. It's like, the, I've, I used to love a pair of boxers that I literally wore till they were holy, holy. And, uh, now Megan just tosses them out. She doesn't. She don't allow no, that. Yeah, but you when can't you're, have that. But when you're batching it, when oh, you're batching yeah. it, oh, absolutely. Bachelors know what I'm talking about. Five four seven K O R D. Your lucky charm. What do you got? I have a lucky rock. I oh. carry it in my wallet or in my purse. My husband has one, and my daughter has one. Oh, mine's pink. His is black. Hers is blue. My mom. She's eighty eight, and she's always carried them, and they've been smooth. And she passed them down to me, and then I have one. My husband has one, and our daughter has one. I love oh. that lucky rock. So I, we That's talked cool. about we yeah. talked about that earlier. Yes, a stone of some sort, some sort. You know, yeah. and, um, it's supposed to bring I, you good juju. What was supposed to be good luck too is if your car reach, reaches a hundred thousand miles, you would. You, I had a buddy who would stop. My buddy Randy would stop. He picked up some. He picked up a rock. I said, what are you doing? He's like, oh, it hits 100,000 miles. You'd say, you know, good luck. I'm like, okay, with his car. I never heard that. I know, but he did it. He did it. So interesting. Five, I know it is interesting. 547-KORD, uh, unusual items that bring you luck. More of your calls on the way. You got Rick and Patty. You're listening to Rick and Patty in the morning A number one for new country. 1027-KORD. Get ready, Tri-Cities. Pet Overpopulation Prevention's annual Pooch and Pal event is back and better than ever. Mark your calendars for June 15th at Columbia Point Park. Lace up your sneakers and leash up your furry friends for a fun-filled 5K walk or run. Early registration is happening now. Sign up today and snag yourself a cool t-shirt, swag bag, and exclusive access to the post-fun run party. But wait, there's more. Pop is also seeking vendors and sponsors to join in the excitement. Visit poptricities.org to register. That's P-O-P-P tricities.org. Sign up and get involved. Sun's out, tongue's out, folks. Let's make this year's Poochin Pal the best one yet. See you there. Country 1027 KORD. It's 813. You got Rick, you got Patty. Super excited. Not this weekend, but next weekend. Yes, it's coming back your way. It's the second annual Walla Walla Music Fest, May 31st uh, through June 1st. Very excited Look about at the it. the lineup. I know. Walla Walla County Fairgrounds. Uh, Shane Prophet, country singer coming. You've got the Haggards. you got Cashed Out. Your band, Colorblind. Right. Is a part of Man, it, right? Look uh, at that. Morgan Gruber, uh, Vegas McGraw. There's uh-huh. just a, there's just a, a 
Uh, Waylon Neapoli. Yes, there's a lot. A lot coming, and we want to get you there. Chairs and blankets welcome. Music is on the lawn, and it's a great way to spend a weekend there in Walla Walla. So, 547-KORD. Let's give away some tickets, Yeah, let's take the first three callers. All right, one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Callers, one, two, and three. If you want to go to the Walla Walla Music Fest, we'll give you a chance right now. Callers, one, two, and three. Good luck next from 1027-KORD. We love to hear from you, and it's easier than ever to reach out. Just open up the Cord Mobile app and send us an app chat message. Or you can contact us the old-fashioned way at 509-547-KORD. Number one for new country, 1027-KORD. Have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto? Make sure you have our app so when you connect your device, we can go everywhere together. Play roll halfway to hell, number one for New Country. It's 1027 KORD. You got Rick, you got Patty. Great to be with you. 822, just ahead of 102 in a row, brought to you this morning by Horn Rapids RV Sales and Service. And I know you're waiting patiently for the Tim McGraw code. Here you go. It is 754 right now. 754. Input that into the KORD Thank mobile. You. Yeah. And it's and, and people are always asking, where where can you find it? It's right in the middle. It'll say Tim McGraw in LA. You just click open the uh, KORD mobile app in the middle of your app. It'll be right there underneath the big story. And then also when you get into the contest, you got to yeah. scroll down a little bit okay. to get to where you put the codes gotcha. in. So again, it's going to be 754 right now. Got a couple weeks of Tim McGraw flying you out of Pasco. It's going to be an amazing. Of course it is. It's going to be an amazing flyaway. And uh, we'd love for you to win that. And of course, get that code 820, 1020, 120, 420, 720. Whew. It's a lot of 20s. That but, is. But we got them. Yeah, it is. Uh, especially, I like 420. <laughs> Dude, you. You're such a big talker. You are a big talker. <laughs> All right. So let's tie off this other people's problems. Grams and Pasco. Oh, she did something that's getting a lot of flack right yeah. now. Well, she gifted her kids, um, their her grandkids. Some of them are upset because brothers and sisters got more cash than they did. And she told her kids, her, you know, her sons and daughters that um, those who did better were rewarded with more money. We're talking about grades. Yep. Well, they said it's a terrible idea. Kids don't understand that. And I told them this is a perfect teaching moment that, you know, they should tell their children the better they do, the more money that they can make. Oh, gosh. Well, so, and it's caused the big... It, there's a rift. Yeah. So and, um, they say I made a mistake by giving the kids different amounts. Did I? Grams and Pasco wants right. to know. Grams, let's let's take care of this. 547-KORD app. Just, what are people saying on the Facebook page? Uh, did you see what Michelle says? She says, tell them to kiss your blank. <laughs> it's your money. You can do whatever you want. Joshua says, way to go, Grandma. Don't give them anything next time. Ungrateful. Life is not fair or even. You're teaching them that the same as a bonus at work. We talked about this. Keep it up. Real life, not entitled BS, and that's Joshua. Uh, Lisa says, sounds like a bunch of ungrateful brats to me. And Celeste says, don't give them anything next time. It's your choice. Therefore, they seem ungrateful, not just happy to have something to remember Grandma by when she's gone. Well, Hope says, you did say that you gave money based on graduation. They all graduated. School is very difficult for some, and the fact that they graduated is a huge accomplishment. That's from Hope. Uh, Amy says, sorry, Graham, but with kids in the same household, give them the same. They do compare. It's sad, but true. If you have grandkids that live elsewhere, give them something more or less. Just give them the same. Aaron said, well, see, that one agreed. Aaron says the parents are giving away participation trophy vibes. This is why kids these days feel so entitled. This is a great life lesson by Grams. Instead of coddling the kids and getting mad at Grams, teach your kids to value hard work. And that's from Aaron. And Jason says this is exactly uh, what the youth is today. None want to work for anything, and they all want equal. You go, Grams. Great teaching moment. I- interesting. Yvette says equal amount. Psy. Emily says equality. Well, In- I don't know. Interesting. I, right? Uh, Tim says trade them in on a new family, one that appreci- appreciates nice gestures. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think mm-hmm. <laughs> Jennifer says, I think it would make the ones with less money work harder. Her money, her choice. Luckily, they got any money at all. I, I've told the story. It's half and half. I told, really? I told the story about Pearl, man. She didn't She didn't budge an inch. I was supposed to crush the cran, the cans. Right. And I would have got the money. I didn't do it. She took him to town, got the money, and my little grubby hand was like, where my money? Where my money? And she goes, and she looked at me and she goes, it's not your money. You didn't work know, for it. I and know. And she pocketed it. Now, the next week, guess who was out there smashing cans? Little Ricky. Little Ricky had his butt yep, out there smashing yep. cans because I didn't want, well, you know, because she, yeah. 
my 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 wonderful foster mom, man, it was never about equal. It was always about what was fair. Right. What was fair, you do right. the. She always said you do the work, and so I was always raised uh, thanks to her. And I will always stand by this. If you work an honest forty hour work 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 week and you work right. hard, you do you do deserve to live. You know what I'm saying? You deserve to have a roof and you deserve to have food and all yep. these different things. So that's what I was raised under. So you got to work for it. So anyway, uh, but there was people talking. There was people on here, Patty, talking about equality. I know. That surprised me to find that. Well, Grams, it is your money at the end of the day. So what do you guys think? Did that solve it for you? 547-KORD. App chat us what you would do in the situation. Um, yeah. Think, I, if, think if, there, if Grams didn't give any money. Uh, I've had I those. Mean, uh, yes. Uh, my, yeah. Uh, my grandparents. I, I one time tried to bar- borrow money from my grandma, and she goes, it doesn't teach you anything. We're not giving you any money. Oh. And that, and it hurt my feelings. I, 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 I was never more hurt than that to, the, to this day. I'm, you know, I middle-aged, bet. and I still think about it. And she said, no, you, you got yourself into the mess. You figure it out. Us, uh, and you did. I did. You did. And us, us giving you money isn't going to get it, isn't going to, yeah, isn't going to teach you anything. I'm like, Wow. <laughs> Tough lesson to learn. I know, Grams. All right, so we go. 547-KRD app chat us what you would do. We want to know. It's Rick and Patty. You're waking up with the Cord Morning Show. Number one for new country. 1027-KORD.